When Porsche rolled out the first 919 hybrid at Weissach in June 2013, Audi star Andre Lotterer was already looking for his third win at the Circuit de la Sarthe. Four years later, the German ace finds himself in the Porsche cockpit, hoping to drive his former rivals to a Le Mans hat-trick of their own. I think it's very special to race for Porsche at Le Mans, uh, especially. It's maybe like F1, uh, Ferrari in Monza in terms of feelings. So um, yeah, it's been an intensive few first month to, to learn uh, about everything, the team, the car, all the systems, how to drive it, a new teammates, so a lot of new things. So it's quite a big challenge, but for sure it will be an intense battle, I, I can feel. With third and fourth place finishes in his first two races, Lotterer has formed a fast bond with teammates Neil Jani and Nick Tandy. He now heads to Le Mans, having already won there three times with Audi co-pilots Marcel Fesler and Benoit Trelluet. If you compare to what I had with Ben and Marcel, we came new together at Audi and were there for seven years, so it will take time to reach that level. And obviously we know each other from the WC paddock and having fun sometimes traveling together. But now we have to create our own team and it's happening and I'm, I'm really happy to be on board with Nick and Neil. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With Nick winning Le Mans uh, 2015 uh, at his first attempt was, uh, was uh, a great achievement, so I'm happy to have him on board with me. And Andre, you know, we don't need to talk about him. He has proven many times uh, at Audi what he can do. And uh, really happy to have those two on board. And uh, yeah, it's, I should think we should be a good team. Gianni and Nick Tandy both experienced maiden victories at Le Mans in the past two seasons. And although it's six years since his first win, it's something their new teammate will never forget. For sure, um, the first victory at Le Mans will remain forever an awesome memory uh, to share with the whole team and my teammates. And in 2011, it was an epic race. I was driving for five stints till the finish. I think that was uh, a tremendous memory to have. Lotterer once seemed destined for Formula One. He was test driver for Jaguar back in 2002, but a race seat never materialised. And he instead found success racing Super Formula in Japan. He did finally get an F1 start with Caterham and Spa in 2014, but it's Le Mans that defines his career. I remember going with my father. That was my, my first experience there. And uh, I just know Le Mans from from watching on the races and I uh, was really in love with the Group C era. I think that was just fantastic uh, race cars where even as a little child I was having huge eyes, bigger than uh, what, seeing a F1 car for example. And although that was a great times when Eto Senna and McLaren was around, but these Group C cars always fascinated me and um, I'm living that dream now, so it's, uh, it's nice. 